A gun missing from the police evidence room. It happened in Dalton, a suburb plagued with corruption and misconduct allegations. So what happened to that gun? You may be surprised by what CBS2 investigator Pam Zekman and the Better Government Association discovered when they checked it out. This shotgun is legally owned by Pierce Cole. And so is this gun he thought was an antique German Luger. This is my grandfather's weapon when he was in the war. This has a lot of sentimental value. Cole let his friend, Farron Carradine, stay in his Dalton home while on parole for a DUI. But after yeah. corrections officers it's checked on Carradine, area. they seized both guns, even after Cole explained they were his. They just arrested Farron. For unlawful use of a weapon, a parole violation. Makes me angry. The guns were not yours. They were not mine. The charges were dismissed, and a judge ordered the guns returned to Cole, but the handgun was missing. More than two years later, after the Dalton police asked the Cook County Sheriff's Office for help, what happened to the missing gun was uncovered. Dalton records show the handgun was not even inventoried by Sergeant Anthony Bankhead. I asked Sergeant Bankhead why. It was forgotten about. That's all. You forgot about a gun? Yes. After Sheriff's Police questioned Bankhead, he produced the missing gun from his office drawer. Now I'm looking at this guy wanting to steal it. What is it worth? Some German Lugers sell online for thousands of dollars. Cole's gun is an American version worth only a few hundred dollars. They believe that you were trying to steal the gun because it was an antique. No. Pam, well, I don't want to comment on it. I'm not, I'm not a gun per fanatic. Does the value of the gun really matter? No. We're talking about a weapon here, and, that, and that's the bottom line. A weapon went missing, and there has to be accountability. You work for the post office. If you're caught with missing mail, what would happen? Terminate it immediately. How can you be a watch commander and a supervisor Pam, if you're not I'm, inventorying I'm, evidence correctly? I don't, I don't know what's going on with it. I haven't heard anything more from the chief. His police chief says possible disciplinary action is under review. Pam Zekman, CBS2 News. That disciplinary action could range anywhere from a suspension to the officer being fired.